is there a case to be made that even for like communication between you and I, we should move away from uh, from email? Like for example, there's a guy I recently, I don't know if you know comedians, but there's a guy named Joey Diaz yeah. that I've had an interaction with recently. And that guy, first of all, the sweetest human, despite what his comedy sounds like, is the sweetest human being. And he's a big proponent of just pick up the, the phone yeah. and call. Yeah. And it makes me so uncomfortable when people call me. Yeah. It's like, I don't know what to do with this thing. Uh, but it kind of gets everything done quicker, I think, if, if I remove the anxiety from that. Is there a case to be made for that? Or yeah. is email could still be the most efficient way to do this? No, I mean, look, if you, if you have to interact with someone, there's a lot of efficiency and synchrony. Right. And this is something from the distributed system theory where, you know, if you go from synchronous to asynchronous networks, there's a huge amount of overhead to the asynchrony. So actually yeah. the protocols required to solve things in asynchronous networks are significantly more complicated and fragile mm -hmm. than synchronous protocols. So if we can just do real time, it's usually better. And also from a, a interaction, like social connection standpoint, there's a lot more information in the human voice and the back and forth. Uh, yeah, if you just call, so very generational, right? Like our generation will be comfortable talking on the phone in a way that like a younger generation mm -hmm. isn't, but an older generation is more comfortable with, well, you just call people. Yeah. Whereas we, so there's, there's a happy medium, but most of my good friends, we just talk, we have regular phone calls. Okay. Yeah. It's not, Schedule? I don't just call them. We schedule okay. it. We Got schedule it. it. Yeah. Just on text. Like, yeah, you want to talk sometime soon. Do you, do you ever have a process that on friends? Not really. No. I feel like I should. I feel like... Uh, well, you have like a lot of interesting friend possibilities. Yeah. You yeah. have like an interesting problem, right? Like really interesting people you can talk to. Well, that's that's one problem. The other one is the introversion where I'm just afraid of people and get really stressed. Like yeah. I freak out. And so... You picked a good line of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, perhaps it's the Goggins thing. It's like facing your fears or whatever. But, but it's almost like there's a, uh, it has to do with the timetables thing and the deep work that the nice thing about the processes is it not only uh, automates, sort of uh, automates away the context switching, it ensures you do the important things too. Like yeah. it's like prioritize. So the thing is with email, because everything is done over email, you can be, lazy in the same way with like social networks and and do the easy things first yeah. that are not that important. So the process also enforces that you do the important things. And for me, the important things is like, okay, it sounds weird, but like social connection. No, that's one of the most important things in, in all of human existence. Yeah. And doing it, the, the paradoxical thing, I got into this for digital minimalism, uh, the more you sacrifice on behalf of the connection, the stronger the connection feels, right? So sacrificing non-trivial time and attention on behalf of someone is what tells your brain that this is a, a serious relationship, which is why social media had this paradoxical effect of making people feel less social because mm -hmm. it took the friction out of it. And so the brain just doesn't like, yeah, you've been commenting on this person's whatever, you've been retweeting them or sending them some text. You haven't, it's not hard enough. And then, then this, the the perceived strength of that social connection diminishes. Where if you talk to them or go spend time with them or whatever, you're going to feel better about it. Uh, so the the friction is good. I have a thing with some of my friends where at the end of each call, we take a couple minutes to schedule the next. Oh, okay. Then you never. Have to, it's like I do with haircuts or something, right? Like if I don't schedule it, then yeah. I'm never going to get my haircut, right? Uh, and so we, it's like okay, when do you want to talk next? You know. Yeah, and, that's a really that's a really yeah. good idea. I I just don't call friends, and uh, like every ten years, I do something dramatic for them so that we maintain the friendship. Or like I, I murder somebody that they really don't like, yeah, or exactly. I just careful man. Joey Joey might ask you to do that. Just, <laughs> yeah, that's why. I, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is one of my favorite. Lex, things. I need to come down to New Jersey. <laughs> well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. With that gonna... robot dog of yours. <laughs>